Hey, welcome back to Flagstaff High School's Black History Month. Hope everybody had a great Super, Super Bowl weekend as we get started this Monday. We want to introduce you to our next member of the Murdoch Mural, Miss Catherine Hickman. Many, many people in Flagstaff simply called her Mother Hickman. Miss Hickman was born in Forest Hill, Louisiana in 1923. She grew up in a very racially divided South and everywhere racially motivated violence was the norm. She managed to graduate high school, but because of the color of her skin, she could not go to college. Miss Hickman died at the age of 92, but she had 14 children here in Flagstaff. But it was her decades of caring for the city's most vulnerable children that won her the place on the Murdoch mural in Southside and truly earned her the nickname Mother Hickman. Many of Miss Hickman's children went through Flagstaff High School as athletes and scholars. Like Daryl, or we knew him as Puffy Hickman. He was the 1981 quarterback for the state champion Flagstaff Eagles. Or his twin sister, Carol Hickman, who's the 1981 homecoming queen at Flagstaff High School. By the way, who's the goofball next to her? First one to tag Black History Month on our Instagram feed. I will buy you a two scoop Sunday with the correct answer. Anyways, it was the logging industry that moved Miss Hickman and her husband Sanders to Flagstaff in 1946. Celebrating Black History Month at Flagstaff High School, I'm at the corner of Sawmill Road in Kensington. Many of you know this because Dutch Bros is right over there and I'm sure you've been there before. But did you know across the street, and we'll wait till the white balance comes in, this used to be the location of the old Flagstaff Sawmill. There used to be a big white building here, so Sawmill Road didn't get its name just by accident. It actually because the site of the original sawmill in Flagstaff. Although an empty lot now, this is what it looked like back in the day. As a matter of fact, the sawmill is depicted on the mural of the Murdoch Center, as this man operates part of the machinery back in the original timber mill. But let's get back to Miss Hickman and what made her so special. Back in those days, Flagstaff was strictly segregated. The African-American, Latino, and Native American families all stayed within their own segregated parts of our community. While her husband was working in the sawmill, Miss Hickman would care for all the children in the low-income housing. If you talk to any of Miss Hickman's children, they'll tell you their house was the community hub with children coming over all the time to have dinner or lunch or loading into their truck to go to church on Sunday morning. She would sit with children for hours and tell stories. And then in the mid-60s, she talked to Cogdale Recreation Center and started a story hour every day for all the children in the neighborhood. This type of caring for children caught the eye of the federal government. And in 1966, Miss Hickman became the lead teacher of what is now known as the Head Start program. We have three Head Start schools here in Flag. One by Clark Holmes, one in Cogdale, excuse me, one in, on Cumming Street, and then one over by Killip Elementary School. Miss Hickman was an activist as well and fought for desegregation across our community. She also sat on the Flagstaff Housing Authority and fought for fair housing practices in our city. Catherine, Mother Hickman, was a special member in our community and she believed that every child mattered. Thank you, Miss Hickman, for starting the Head Start program in Flagstaff. Thank you for fighting segregation in Flagstaff. Thank you, thank you for fighting for fair housing practices in Flagstaff. But most of all, thank you for what many said, the segregation became your congregation. Every child mattered in Flagstaff. Mother Hickman on the mural of Murdoch Center.